patients that have AML characterized by MLL or KMT2A mutations have a poor prognosis with standard chemotherapy. We also know that for patients who have MPM1 mutant disease in the relapse refractory setting, that there are no currently targeted therapies that address NPM1 mutant AML. To address both of these poor prognostic subsets, there has been an emerging body of data suggesting that menin inhibitors targeting the menin MLL or KMT2A gene complex can be effective in the laboratory in eradicating these disease subsets. So for that reason, we have initiated a phase 1-1B trial of a novel menin inhibitor, KO539, which is being sponsored by Spiro Oncology. This particular trial is a dose escalation trial examining KO539, an oral menin inhibitor, at escalating doses starting at 50 milligrams all the way up to the current dose of 800 milligrams for safety tolerability, and a recommended phase two dose. We are actively accruising patients independent of their mutational status for the dose escalation phase. Following this, the plan is to expand to specific uh, mutational subsets, specifically patients with relapse and refractory and PM1 or KMT2A mutant disease to evaluate the preliminary efficacy of uh, at least one to two doses of this agent moving forward. For efficacy assessment, we will be looking at CR rate as well as CR, CRI rate, disease-free survival, as well as overall survival and transfusion independence. Exploratory biomarkers are being examined on the study to see whether there is a particular predictor of response or specific genetic subtypes or mutational profile which would predict for improved efficacy or response. In preliminary data presented at the ASH 2020 meeting, we did note that out of eight evaluable patients, there was some evidence of clinical activity in uh, six out of the eight patients, including CR in two patients, one of which had a target MPM1 mutation and the other one who did not. Uh, this trial is being presented at EHA as a trial in progress and we anticipate having more updates for the escalation and hopefully uh, the uh, recommended phase two dosing at the upcoming ASH meeting in 2021.